Hey, it's Valerie McDaniel. It's March 15th, uh, 2017. I'm sitting outside and I wanted to take time and tell my story from the beginning. Try not to judge me. Judge me. It's been said that only good girls keep diaries. Bad girls don't have time. Well, 48-year-old Valerie McDaniel took time to confide her most private, innermost thoughts in an audio diary she recorded on her iPad. She talks about her daughter. She's the most precious thing to me. Her adventures as a new divorcee. 48-year-old woman I'm trying to start to date. Not a good thing. And also in that diary, it sounds as if she's harboring a bone-chilling secret. I never wanted to hurt anyone. I hate the idea that everybody thinks I'm a monster. A monster? That's not a word her friends would ever use to describe her. Valerie was an amazing human being. She had a light with, within her. I felt honored to have her as my friend. She was so successful and so beautiful and funny and intelligent. 2017 started on a high note for Valerie. She's living in River Oaks, the Beverly Hills of Houston, where her neighbors are the likes of multi-millionaire pastor Joel Osteen. God controls the universe. There are definitely high-profile, uh, wealthy individuals who live in River Oaks. Valerie enjoys the view from the balcony of her spacious two-bedroom condo, a perk of her thriving veterinary practice. She just poured her heart and soul into veterinary medicine. Just a really giving, caring individual. Dr. Brittany King worked for Valerie. I looked up to her as a mentor and a, you know, an, an inspiration. I would hope to be like her someday. When she wasn't tending to her furry friends, the affluent animal doctor spent weekends on Tiki Island near Galveston, where she generously hosted friends at her $700,000 beach home. We always karaoke. Oh, this is a bit of rhythm. We can learn to love again. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. We swam. We just enjoyed each other's company. She would always prepare these amazing dinners for us. Now, when you guys had these dinners, there was one thing that was always missing, and that is Valerie's husband. Mm -hmm. What did she tell you about her marriage? She did not feel loved. Her husband was never around. Valerie complained to those friends that Mac, her husband and business partner at the pet clinic, was always out doing his own thing, like hunting. But Valerie later confided to them she thought he was really out hunting other women. She says a woman called the clinic one day claiming to have proof of that. She gave me lists of women that he had slept with. She knew that there had been some adultery. I knew that because she talked to me about it. It's hard to watch someone in that much pain. So much pain, she filed for divorce after 17 years, citing conflict of personalities and adultery. It was a bitter split, but they did agree on the shared custody of their now nine-year-old daughter. She was just unhappy. There was a void that wasn't being filled there. Until, that is, she meets this man, Leon Jacob, a brash doctor, eight years her junior. Valerie is one of the most amazing human beings that um, I've ever met. Uh, she was nice and kind and giving and educated and a great mother. They met by happenstance when Valerie, still miserable in her marriage, lived next door to Leon's mother. The sight of Leon hardly swept her off her feet. He ran up to me and introduced himself. The cockiest ever met in my life and I was completely turned off immediately by his attitude and I was drawn to him but disgusted at the same time. Just describe the moment you really noticed being attracted to her. I saw her in a bathing suit. If you want me to be very open about it, that's when I first noticed <laughs> that she was a knockout and that I was attracted to her. And eventually she to him. I got through that exterior and realized he was a, a nice person, that he was actually not all that that he tried to portray himself as, and I really liked what was underneath it. Underneath was a man raised with privilege. He attended the best private schools. Winter breaks were spent skiing in Vail, summers in Maine. I'm an avid golfer and skier, and I work out a lot. After college, he went to medical school in the Caribbean. I'm a very driven, type A, alpha personality male, but I have a heart of gold. But it wasn't only his pedigree that wooed the woe-begone veterinarian. 
I was lonely, and he kept me company. He listened to me. It was everything I needed. The now single mom finally finding love again. And this past January, it looked as if they're both finally free for one another after Leon and his girlfriend split up. She knew I was going through a really bad time. It was funny because one night we were laying on our balcony and she looked at me and she goes, do I have you? And I said, yes. She was very much in love with him. She said, said it multiple times. I'm, in, I'm completely in love with him. But Valerie's friend, Maggie, had some misgivings about Leon. What didn't you like about him? Very arrogant and full of himself. I've just never seen anything quite like that. And I've got a pretty strong intuition about people, and I did not feel good about it, and I let her know that. But Valerie wouldn't hear it. The dashing doctors with seemingly so much in common. We talked science together. We both loved astronomy. We had a telescope in our apartment. We used to look at the you know, the constellations. It sounds like 57 days of bliss, right? Isn't that the number you put on it? Y yes. But you know what they say, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Those two months of bliss shockingly end this past March when Valerie McDaniel, who had just found a second chance at love, jumps to her death from that seventh floor balcony. Valerie McDaniel left a note detailing her final wishes before apparently jumping to her death from that condo. It was just as much a shock to me as it was to everybody else around her. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.